Hey guys, my name is Esper Trova, and welcome back to episode number 18 of the Sunderland Career Mode. Yes, I know, it has been a while, it hasn't been too long actually, since I've uploaded one of the Sunderland Career Mode videos, but we are finally back again with another Sunderland Career Mode video. And today is going to be extremely busy, let me just show you here, Watford and Swansea in the Premier League and Carabao Cup respectively, and then we have Spurs, Hammerby, or Hammerby, I don't know how to pronounce it, Chelsea, Burnley, and then Red Bull Salzburg, who pulled off one of the most insane comebacks of the season, probably even more insane than the Roma comeback against Barcelona, against Lazio in the Europa League. Um, I would show the game, but I'm probably going to get copyrighted, so yeah, if you just want to see that game, go look it up, absolute insanity there. But yeah, that we're probably going to get through all of October, or the rest of October and all of November in this episode. And we're going to start it off by simulating up against Watford. So legit, I'm just going straight in. We're probably going to lose this game just based on the fact that we are away. And this probably wasn't the greatest idea, but we're already 1-0 up. Yasin Ayub puts us 1-0 up. And, uh-oh, Damian De Silva injured. That's not looking too good. And we are still winning this game, though. And hopefully... We can keep our undefeated streak complete. We are completely undefeated in the Premier League right now, mind you. And I'd be happy with the draw, but a win would be better. And we do get the win. Sunderland 1, Watford 0. And away win with Sunderland. Wow. Alright, guys. So this is going to be the first game that we play in the episode. We're going to be going into the Carabao Cup. Josh Madra starting up top. Bobby Kazri. Oviedo coming in at, uh, as a makeshift left mid. Watmore. Matthews <laughs> coming in as a makeshift CDM, Hughes and Catermola in midfield, and Junka, Clark Salter, Wilson in defense, and then Josh Olsen in goal. Let's go out there and progress into the next round of the Carabao Cup, and maybe add some, this could be our first silver of the season, you never know. So, let's go. Alright, we're gonna get in, get out, let's go. There's Bunny, passing it off to Luciano Narsing, oh my god. What a goal from Luciano Narsing. How did Olsen even get shipped there? I don't think he was even that far off his line. We are 1-0 down nonetheless, though. So, that's fantastic, isn't it? Look at this. He's, he wasn't even that far off his line. Just Narsing was perfect. 1-0 down already in the Carabao Cup. Hugh Hughes, Maja, Oviedo, Kazri, looking at to Josh Maja, and there it is, Josh Maja, who is so bad for us, except for like one game last season, has now tied it up, up against Swansea in the Carabao Cup, fantastically worked goal, playing it into Wabi Kazri, hold up play, very nice, and just slots him inside, Fabianski, not able to, or is that Fabianski? I have no idea who that was, but it's 1-1. One, one. Hughes. Kettermole, 2-1! Lee Kettermol, the <laughs> freaking cult hero of last season. The second most surprising player besides Joel Osoro last season. And what a fantastic strike. It was bouncing around in the box. And he managed to get a second shot off, I guess. And it is now 2-1. Rodwell again, not a bad corner. And Jake Clark Salter has got up. And it's 3-1 to Sunderland. A former Chelsea man, Jake Clark Salter, has just sealed this game up, really. And surely that is the final nail in the coffin. Mulder has been so good for Swansea this game. Both goalkeepers have been incredible. But this time, we do beat Erwin Mulder. And it is 3-1 to Sunderland. Up for Josh Maja. Come on, Maja. Come on, Maja. Hold him off. Hold him off. In. Rodwell makes it 4-1. Sunderland. A running riot. What a run by Josh Maja 
to hold off Luciano Narsing and then put in the second time ball. Look at this. I tried to cross it right there. Second time it works. All across the defense, and Erwin Mulder can't keep that out. And Jack Rodwell has made it 4-1 despite being injured. And there it is. Full time. We win 4-1 over Swansea. Do you believe it? Fantastic performance from everybody. We were solid defensively, and we were extremely good on the attack. Jack Rodwell, Lee Cattermall, and Josh Maja uh, getting the goals. And I'm forgetting who uh, got the last goal. Oh, it was Jake Clark Salter. almost forgot about him. But yeah, 4-1 win in the end. We conceded four in the first, excuse me, and then we scored four unanswered goals into the next game. And now, guys, we're up against Spurs in the league. I'm actually going to simulate this game just because we are at home. And hopefully, we can pick up a victory. Um, we managed to beat Watford away. Playing uh, away is much harder in this game. And Fabio Barini makes us go 1-0 up in the 17th minute. That is exactly what I'm looking for in this sim games. So, can we hold on? That is the question. I'm going to guess no, because Spurs are a very, very good side. And... It's looking like, it's not looking too bad. SMOA gets sent off. That surely must be it. That's it. Both simulated games have been 1-0 victories. This one over Spurs. Fantastic result. I'm pretty sure we're still undefeated in the league. Now, guys, we go back into the Europa League, taking on Hammerby. Hammerby, whatever. I'm going to think it's Hammerby. But, yeah, this is going to be our starting lineup. Slightly altered from the start. Our actual strongest starting lineup. We have Buffum up top, Hughes, Lack, Saul, Barini, McNair, Catamullen, and Dong in, in the midfield. And we have Junka, DeVry, and Fry in defense. And then we have Robin Ruder making an appearance in goal. This is the fourth game in the Europa League group stages. So... We could potentially go 4-4 four for four wins. Let's go in. And probably in order to make this episode not so long, I'm just going to insert a really quick uh, goal compilation of everything that happens uh, right about now. There's Laxall charging forward. Diego Laxall. Oh! Horrible mistake by the goalkeeper. And Diego Laxall has put us 1-0 up. Lexall Bafuma 2-0! TV by Fuma continues his insane goal scoring run for Sunderland with a header this time. We're not needing to use his insane pace stats. All we had to do was whip it right towards his noggin, and it's 2-0 to Sunderland. Adam Matthews winning the ball in midfield. Here's Adam Matthews. Go on, Adam Matthews, go on. Adam Matthews. Oh my god, Adam Matthews! He came on for Petty McNair. Because he, uh, he was injured, and Adam Matthews has just made it 3-0, three minutes into freaking the second half. Then, Svensson, no. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God, what a save. Didier and Dong. Ayub looking into Lexall. He's going to cut back here. Clever little play at Diego Lexall. Oh, how has that gone in? Freak goal. Diego Lexall at the brace. Come on. Last play of the game. Robin Ruder. Oh, not last play of the game. There it is. Yeah. Final whistle. We completely and utterly dismantled Hammerby. Wherever they're from. Sweden, Norway, Denmark. I don't know where the heck they're from. But they're inferior to the mighty, mighty Sunderland. Let's go on to the next game. Lexall with a brace. And he is showing why we brought him in. Two shots, two goals, clinical. All right, guys. Now for the final play game of the episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to be simulating the last two games of November. I actually forgot who they are. I think it's Burnley is one of them. I forgot who the other team is. But we'll get to that when it comes. Chelsea, final play game of the episode in the Premier League. Bafuma starting up top. Kazri Laxall, Asoro coming on the right for a slightly tired uh, Fabio Barini, McNair, Ayub, and Ndung in midfield. Junka, DeVry, and Kone in defense, and then Paolo Lopez in goal. 
Damian De Silva is back from his injury, as you can see, but he has virtually no stamina, so we're not going to be playing him. So yeah, let's get into this game, and let's defeat another giant. Alright guys, here we are at Stamford Bridge. I was actually there to watch West Ham and Spurs. I am a Chelsea fan, in case you didn't know. Chelsea holds a special place in my heart. So, it's going to be a shame that we're going to have to beat them, but let's go. Get their cards ready. And here's Tifi by Fuma. Oh, fantastic finish. Cool as you like. From TV by Fuma. And leave it to him to score an important goal for Sunderland. Our top striker this season, Joel Soro, was tearing it up last season in the championship. But uh, we've brought on TV by Fuma. And he has been absolutely wonderful. Rikitsky, I think is how you pronounce it, completely outdone. And he just low driven shot into the corner of Thibaut Courtois goal. And it's 1-0 to Sunderland. Here's TV by Fuma yet again, breaking down this. I have the back formation very well. And now Yasin Ayub is going to chip it to the back post for Wabi Kazri. 2-0 to Sunderland inside 15 minutes. Do you believe it? I know I most certainly do not. Chelsea, absolutely abysmal at the back. Wabi Kazri, as wide open as um, a person getting surgery for their heart. I messed up that analogy so bad, but whatever. 2-0, let's go. Ayub. On its chance, 3-0! I was intending for that cross to go to Fabio Barini, but it went further than I th thought it was going to go, and it found Wabi Ghazri, and now we are 3-0 up, and listen to the boos around Stamford Bridge. Looks like Courtois probably should have gotten that one, but I'm not going to complain. 3-0 to Sunderland, and his fourth goal in the Premier League. Eden Hazard, Malcolm slams the crossbar and Giroud, Giroud makes a 3-1, and Chelsea do get a goal back, that's a bit disappointing really isn't it, much time left here for Chelsea, here's Alvaro Morata, why didn't he start the game, to be fair he hasn't been excellent this season, but a chance, and Chelsea do get a goal again, Cesar Azpilicueta, and I don't know why he's not grabbing the ball, going back to the center circle, but Nothing really more than a consolation goal for them. We have dominated the most of this game, probably except for the second half. We've been pretty dominant, and it's a good thing we did get that third goal. Otherwise, we'd be in a little bit of trouble. And, yeah, Paulo Lopez, I think he got something on it, but no big deal. We're still going to win anyway. And we're gonna, just going to take this kickoff and launch it down with Wabi Kazri. And that should be all the time they have. It is 3-2 win over Chelsea. At their home ground of Stamford Bridge. I'm sorry, Chelsea. I had to do it to you, even though they are my favorite team. Great, great performance in this game all around from everybody. Chelsea, don't know why they were starting or why they bought R Rakitsky or whatever his name is. But, yeah, decent result. And now we're just going to simulate some games, and that's going to be the episode. Monthly youth scouting updates coming in here. Let's see if we can find anybody. Diogo Neves. Nah. None of these players look at anything extremely special. Let all of them from Krylov sit. Now on to Graham. And here is our Chinese unit of searching. None of these players looking particularly amazing. And then Quinn, our five-star uh, judgment scout in the Ivory Coast. Not really finding anything fantastic there either. So, I'm actually going to show you the Youth Academy right now, just in case you didn't know what it looks like. Um, Aiden Bell is doing pretty well, I know that. Elfie Mason looks pretty decent as well. Already 65 overall, which is pretty decent. Chen Yang, who is 15 left back from China. How tall is he? He's 6'1", okay, so he's probably not going to be... Actually, you know, he's kind of fast. And then Breno Fernandez, who we did get from one of the Brazilian scouting reports, is 62 overall as well. He's looking pretty decent, but he's not going to be anything insane. So, uh, yeah, that's our youth scout report. Now, let's get into the final two games of the episode. Alright, guys, here we are simulating up against Burnley. 
The closest team to us is Everton, which uh, who are in second. They're on uh, 24 points. We're on 31, so they're seven behind us. And wow, okay, we just cannot stop scoring in simulated games. We can't stop scoring in general, but they do get an equalizer with Patagna Bafuma again popping up in this episode with our goal. And you know what? Ayub, yes, Yasim Ayub, getting us the uh, second goal in the simulation. Can we hold on? We are three for three in simulations, and two of them have been away games. Madness. And our final game of the episode is going up against Red Bull Salzburg in the Europa League. They have drawn one and lost, so let's give them another loss here. Let's make it four for four in simulated games and three for three in away games. And Barisha, who did score in the Europa League tie in real life, gets them the first goal. And it's not looking too good for us. Nope, not looking too good for us at all. Come on, somebody pop out the goal. Please, someone. Anybody, I would take a draw. Please, somebody, anybody. No, we lose. It's no big deal. We are still top of the table by quite a margin. And there's pretty much no way that we're not going to qualify because there's only one game left now. So, pretty sure we're certain to qualify. But, yep, that is the only game that we lose this entire episode. Simulated to Red Bull Salzburg. But yeah, guys, anyway, that is going to do it. For this episode of the Sunderland Career Mode, it's going to be a bit longer. I do apologize for that, but I I wanted to make this video a bit bigger just because of the fact that we're finally coming back to this series. You can see there, Bafuma, top scorer in the Premier League. He is being absolutely phenomenal for us. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the 18th installment of this series, make sure to leave a like on the video, uh, turn on my post notifications, and subscribe while you're down there as well. Yeah, I've been Esper Trova. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.